Here is a quick video review of the lesson before the October 2016 Madison Dance Club Dance. We started the lesson with several drills to improve the connection between the leaders and followers. We did a lot of back breaks with the follower concentrating on putting her shoulder blade into the leader's hand so that she could feel the leader and she could match the size of the leader's step in the direction of the leader's steps. We then worked on a rumba waterfall step. It begins with a half box and goes to a back break. At the end of the back break, as we're switching to the other side, the leader will take the right hand and connect with the follower's right hand. After that, we go back in the other direction and the leader raises their hand up directly over the center of the follower's head, up over the head, and lets their hand come down onto the shoulder, and ultimately it'll drape down the other shoulder. From here we went from side to side with the same hand over the head motion. When we were ready to complete the step, the leader will take a large step to the left, directing the follower out and into a turn and around. The leader then connected with the follower's back, and did some more back breaks and eventually went back into a box step. One of the things we talked about was that if the leader raised the follower's arm, it doesn't mean that the follower automatically panics and does a turn. If the hand goes up directly over the center of the head, the follower will just let the arm go up over their head. By contrast, if the leader were to raise their hand off to the left, that would imply that the follower would turn in that direction. And if the leader raised their hand in the other direction, that would indicate that the follower should turn in the other direction. Once people mastered the step, we did a variation on the ending. In this case, the leader again stepped off to the left, started a turn, but they kept both hands connected and kept the turn going until the wrists were together at the top at that point, the leader released the left hand and ultimately the right, and from there went into the back breaks. For the first back break, the leader's arm was up over the follower's shoulder, but they corrected that situation as they went into the next back break. So here we have the step at normal speed. We start with a half box go into a back break. As we go to the other side, we switch hands. Then we raise the hand up over the head, up over the head in a waterfall, up over the head in a waterfall, step to the left, raise the arm, create a turn, catch the shoulder, and into back breaks. And one more time, we start with a half box, back breaks, change hands, lift the hand starting a turn, do our waterfall, 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 giant step to the left, creating a turn, catch the shoulder, and into back breaks. We hope you enjoyed the lesson and that you learned something from the lesson and that you'll join us in November at the Madison Dance Club Dance where we will talk about four count hustle.